What's up, everybody? It's the Quarter Guy, back with more of The Road to Mega Man 11. All the Robot Masters in Mega Man 4 have been defeated. And now, it's time to take it to the man himself. Alright, Cossack. We are coming for you! Lightning. And a Russian citadel in the middle of the snow. How fitting. Alright, here we go. Initial Ascent. Back in my day, we had to walk through the snow both ways uphill to get to class. And there was ice physics. And evil slinkies. Yeah, this music loop's kind of short. But the pattern of these slinky enemies is really simple. And the ladder's above a bottomless pit, so... Classy. Ow. Wait for it. Alright. Thank you, Invincibility Frames! And funny enough, this is the checkpoint. Another extra life? There can be more of a detriment to me than anything else here. Remember. Weapon energy doesn't refill between castle stages. timing there. <laughs> My mistake. Whew, that was... I think if I had delayed just a second more, I would have gotten hit. And died as a result. Alright, Rush, get me up there. And it's snowing now. <laughs> now this is going to be a little bit trickier because of those clamps on the on the ladders. Wait for it. There we go. All right, all my weapons are filled up. All right. Gonna charge up. All right. Time to take on the first boss of this uh, fortress, Mothraya. Now I gotta take it out before it takes out the floor with that piercing drill of hit. Well, good thing the ring boomerang gives me what I need to take care of that. There we go! I've had too many close calls in this game so far. Yeah, I swear. Well, we continue on. Onward! So, left or right? Well, whichever way. It, they all lead to the same place, so, <laughs> might as well. Alright. Thanks for the weapon energy, Philip. Okay, so, 
Why does Dr. Krasiak have these skull enemies here? Foreshadowing, perhaps? But for now, we need the assistance of a dog. Now, the Rush Jet isn't as bro- is decidedly more balanced in this game. Because it continuously moves forward. Alright, it's time for this stage's gimmick. The blocks that have spikes on them that switch sides. I guess to have the right time and to move between them. Up we go! Oh, hey, baton ton! Lower it down. Nice coil. Boing! Take care of that. Get the ring power, I mean, get the energy. All right, might as well refill everything I can. Bam, 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 bam. Jump. Go. Take this, take this out from a distance when I can. I cannot English right now. Bam! Oh. I want that E-Tank for later! Alright. You know what? I have an idea. This is probably the best op option to take right now. Lure it back up. Ow! My kingdom for an E-Tank! There we go. Let me demonstrate the drill bomb for ya. There! On the plus, on, as a bonus, it also has a lot of weapon energy. It's a relatively efficient weapon. And there's the E-Tank I needed. I've got seven of them. And up, and up next is the weapon known as the Square Machine. Oh, you'll see it. Yeah. I was able to get four hits on the thing already. You have to slip into it. Huh, it's slowed down already. It's gonna come faster, just watch. Yep, like that. It's only vulnerable when everything comes together. Oh, boy. Another close call? There we go. That takes care of that. And we'll, and we'll call it here. Next time, we'll take on the last two stages of Cossack Citadel. Until then, for the rest of the road to Mega Man 11, this is the Quarter Guy, signing out. We're coming for you, Cossack.
Hey, thanks for watching The Road to Mega Man 11. You can always donate to my Extra Life campaign and support the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin by clicking the link below. If my campaign reaches $250 by the time Mega Man 10 finishes up, I'll add Mega Man and Base to the Let's Play as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is the Quarter Guy, signing out.